What's up my dudes? I have my face makeup done, but I don't have my eye makeup done. That's why I look crazy, sorry. My eyes are primed and everything because today we're focusing on the eyes. We're gonna be looking at this baby. Oh, whoops, this way. This little dude right here. And this Thrive Mascara. This mascara that my mom's best friend gave me and I've been talking about this for a really long time because I've been wanting to try it and she remembered and she got it for me and I just got it in the mail and I was like so excited because she didn't tell me that she sent it to me. That was like the best surprise ever. It's actually really nice and heavy. It's like very high-end mascara. I've worn it for a few times. I've worn it for a few- what does that mean? I've worn it a few times and I really really like it but I want to see um, how to look with like my makeup done because I usually wear it just with no makeup um, just some mascara because it's called liquid lash extensions and people get lash extensions to look good without wearing makeup you know so that's what I tried doing and it really has that effect it makes your lashes look super long so I want to see how it looks with more makeup on today I've used this daisy palette but I haven't done it on camera yet so I'm really excited I've only used some of the shadows I love watching Daisy's videos, so I was really excited when I saw that she was having a collaboration with BH Cosmetics. I was like, wow, that's so cool, and I think she really deserves it. She's so good at makeup, and I'm so excited. Oh! I dropped it. I dropped everything. My leg's falling apart. You guys, it looks perfect. It looks like I never dropped it, so... Well, like I said, my eyes are already primed, so we're just going to start with the eyeshadow right away. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, so that's a thing. There's just so many colors that I want to try, like the light green ones, like mint green. But then like, I already posted a picture on Instagram that has like blue eyeshadow, so now I'm like, I think we're just going to stick to this naked color a very very light nude and then dulce which is very warm caramel brown this one and this one so i'm going to start off with the lighter color oh i forgot to mention the really cool thing is that this palette kind of like disconnects with the mirror so you can use the mirror just by itself you just hold it up or you can go like this and it's like a little vanity so I thought that was really cool and different. I think a lot of people will enjoy this, especially like when they're traveling. Daisy knows what she's doing, okay? But it's really helpful for me when I'm filming. I could just have this mirror and it weighs nothing, so that's cool. I'm just gonna kind of like set everything with that light color. And then I'm gonna take Dulce and start putting that in my crease. I was curious to see if Dulce would show up on my eyelid because it's very close to my skin color but it's very, it's like a very warm brown and it's showing up quite nicely. Hey guys, okay so I think Dulce is really nice and natural if you're just going to wear this and some mascara it looks really cute. Wow, sorry if I look really oily, I've been wearing this makeup like all day so I'll fix it for the end of the video. I'm just a greasy person. It's not, it's not fun being a greasy person, but greasy people usually don't get that many wrinkles, so joke's on you. I really like that color. I don't know if you guys can see it because my lights probably wash it out, but it's very, very nice and warm. Really perfect for any eye look because it goes really nice in the crease. It could be like the first color that you use before you start using the darker browns and stuff like that. So now I'm going to take cocoa, which is the darkest brown in the palette. And I'm just going to lightly put that on the outer part of my eye. Oh, I really like that. Showing up really nice. Okay, so now that I have the dark brown, I'm going to take some of the color Vintage. This orangey shade right here. And I'm not going to make it very opaque, I just want to make the uh, dark brown that we put on the outer part, I just want to make it look a little bit more warm tone instead of cool tone brown. 
Okay guys, since Daisy is like the queen of cut creases, I want to do a cut crease. So I just did this eye. It's like a very tiny cut crease. I want it to look not like it's taking up my whole lid, just like it's taking up um, the little inner third part of my lid. So now we're just going to do that to the other eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the color Daisy. The Tiffany blue color It's actually her favorite color, so I'm, I'm assuming that's why she named it that. Um, sorry, my family's very loud, as you know. My dogs are loud, everybody's loud, it's fine. Very pigmented, look at that. Let's just see how this looks on the cut crease, and then we might add some of the color Dream, because it has some litter. So that's how it looks right now, you guys. Um, I really like it. I think it's a lot more pigmented when you use it with your finger than with a brush. So definitely recommend using your finger instead. But yeah, really happy. Really happy with these shadows. Sorry, I'm like talking to you and then I'm like, yeah, I'm really happy with these shadows. Now that we're done with that, I'm just gonna do some eyeliner. Okay, so my wings are done. I think they're probably like really crazy looking, but it's okay because now is the fun part. We're gonna do the mascara and I'm so freaking excited to show you how good it is and how long my lashes look when I do it, so let go. Okay, so that's how the lashes look. I think they look so freaking long. Look at that. And they're like very spaced out and they kind of look like um, fake lashes to me. I also like mixing this mascara with a more volumizing mascara so that it makes the lashes look thick and long and separated. So if you're looking for that, you could just get any mascara from the drugstore and then mix it together with this and it'll look freaking amazing. Now I'm just gonna take some of the brown eyeshadow that's still on this brush. And I'm just going to put it under the eye so that it matches the top. Okay, so after that, we're going to put some of the mascara on the lower lashes now. I actually really like this mascara for the lower lashes because the brush is has very like tiny bristles. So it would be perfect for the lower lashes as well. I love that. So... I would definitely recommend this. Thank you so much, Alicia. I am obsessed with this mascara and I use it every single day um, when I go to work and stuff. And I just feel instantly like I look better right away. Even if I'm not wearing foundation or anything, I just am obsessed with this. So thank you so much because I was so happy when I got it into mail. So yeah. Okay, so for the inner corner, I'm gonna take the color Dream, which is this little blue shiny color so now what am I gonna do my lips okay I'm just gonna take this little brown lip liner called deeply intoxicated from essence it's like a dollar or something and it's just like a very dark brown color actually that's not brown at all it's kind of red not what I was trying to do but it's fine we're just gonna take a lighter brown color and we're gonna put it in the center okay so now I'm just gonna take velvet teddy from Mac which is the color that my cousin got me thank you Megan it's like a little mini and it came with like a bunch of Mac lipsticks for the holidays and I use it all the time and it's just awesome so wow that's really matte and my lips are very chapped anybody else just like love the way that mac lipstick smells so good okay so oh yeah i was like i'm missing something and it's highlight so we're gonna do that what should i use for highlight Hold on. A second. For highlight, I'm just gonna take Wisp from ColourPop. Okay. 
if you want it to be more pigmented you can just put it on your finger and then just dab it and then it's like and then after I'm done with that I usually just take a brush and then I just go over it because I don't want to look like a disco ball I mean it's pretty cool to look like a disco ball sometimes but I feel like this eye look is kind of dramatic and I would rather have less of a highlight in your face you know what I'm saying okay guys so this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, all in all I am really obsessed with this palette I think that it's amazing especially with the mirror thing like this really sold me right here like that's so cute you know I really dig that also the mascara is so good I suggest that every one of you goes out and gets one of these dudes I know they're expensive but I don't know I think it's really worth it and it actually lasts all day I don't get like black little flakes on my eyes like under my eyes I don't get any of that mascara runs out really fast for me so um, I think it's like nice to get one that has a good formula because usually the ones I get they dry out sometimes and this one um, the packaging doesn't get dirty because it's like really nice it just so all the product stays inside you know what I'm saying when like like there's mascara all over the outside of the tube and you're like I'm gross but it's not you it's just the mascara it's not you I really really am obsessed with this look I think I would actually wear it out um, not going anywhere today so I'm probably just gonna take it off right now but if you guys want to recreate it it's really really easy to do um, I know cut creases can be like kind of scary but if you have a brush like this a little dome brush it's very easy to just create that cut crease so anyway y'all thank you so much for watching this video um i see that i'm getting a lot of views on my last video it's probably because of adeline but i just want to say thank you to everyone who watched it i had a lot of fun creating that video so thank you guys for watching it let me know what you guys want to see next week please i'll see you guys very 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 soon wow my nose is running not cute is this a thumbnail i don't know bye guys no what am i doing who am i i don't understand it's like when i film i just start doing things that i would never do i sit like a certain way that i wouldn't normally sit bye bye